In this video, I'm going to teach you about trigeminal neuralgia, a terrible pain syndrome. Trigeminal neuralgia really, really hurts. Unfortunately, this can be seen amongst people with multiple sclerosis and is rather challenging to treat in the MS population. If you'd like to learn more about trigeminal neuralgia, how it presents, what causes it, why it's challenging to treat an MS, and most importantly, what can be done to combat it, stay tuned because I'm gonna bring that learning to you starting right now. Howdy! Learn about MS with me, Aaron Boster. I started this channel to help my own MS clinic patients learn between visits. I use easy to understand language to bring you approachable and accurate multiple sclerosis education. So if you're impacted by MS and you want to up your game, make sure to sign up for the channel right now. Also click that notifications bell so you don't miss any of our upcoming content. What is trigeminal neuralgia? It's essentially pain caused by the trigeminal nerve. Now the trigeminal nerve is the fifth cranial nerve. At the base of our brain, we have a structure called the brain stem, and there's 12 groups of nerves that come off the brain stem. And they have functions like running your eyeball, moving your face around, and the fifth cranial nerve controls the sensation of the face. And so I'm gonna throw up a cartoon of the uh, trigeminal nerve so you can see its distribution. And what you notice is there's three segments, or three branches of the trigeminal nerve. There's the top branch that, that provides sensation information of the forehead and the eyeball, and that's called the ophthalmic branch ophthalmic for eye. There's the middle branch, the maxillary branch, that provides sensory information around the nose and the cheek. And there's a third branch on the bottom, and this is the mandibular branch that provides sensation uh, information from the jaw. Now, all three branches track back. They enter into the skull through a hole, and that information is brought back to the brain stem. And that way, if you have something touching your face, your brain is aware, hey, I'm being touched. So what happens in the setting of trigeminal neuralgia? Well, that nerve becomes damaged, either because it's being smushed or crushed, or uh, in the setting of MS, maybe the uh, coverings on the nerve have become demyelinated, and in some fashion, you now have a, essentially a faulty wire. So that trigeminal nerve can fire inappropriately and send fake inappropriate messages up to the brain saying, ow, ow, in giving you a pain message, even though there's nothing actually physically hurting your face. Typical presentations for a trigeminal neuralgia are quick and excruciating bolts of pain felt uh, somewhere in the face, either in the jaw or in the mouth. Not uncommonly, people suffering from trigeminal neuralgia will first see a dentist thinking that they have a bad tooth or need a root canal, uh, maybe here on the cheek uh, around the eye or up in the forehead. It's oftentimes described as an electric shock and it can sometimes be triggered by talking, uh, by brushing one's teeth or eating a sandwich, or sometimes even just having the wind blow on your face can trigger this excruciating pain. The causes of trigeminal neuralgia most commonly involve the nerve, the trigeminal nerve being damaged. Of course, nothing is so easy in the setting of multiple sclerosis. You can actually have an MS plaque or lesion which is affecting either the nerve that leaves the, the brain stem, stripping the myelin coating off that nerve, or actually the brain itself, the control center of that nerve, can be damaged. Treating trigeminal neuralgia is very important, simply because trigeminal neuralgia hurts really bad. Now, this video is one of a series of videos looking at unique pain syndromes in MS, and a common thread you'll see through all the videos is the use of anti-seizure medicines off-label to treat neuropathic pain in MS. So by way of brief review, seizures are caused by an electrical storm on the surface of the brain. You have all of these neurons that are firing inappropriately and causing an electrical storm. Seizure medicines stabilize cell membranes and they get these neurons to stop that, to stop firing inappropriately. They get them to calm down. Now using these anti-seizure medicines can also help other kinds of neuropathic pain or pain coming from uh, the nerves. And so when a patient presents with trigeminal neuralgia, one of the things that we'll start to use are these seizure medicines. I've had success in the past using medicines like Depakote, Tegretol, Lyrica, and Neurontin. It's been my clinical experience that sometimes we have to use many of these medicines in combination, maybe two Two, maybe three medicines, and sometimes at very high doses taken several times a day just to control the acute pain. And after we've gotten good pain control using these medicines, it's always our goal to peel them back and use the least number of medicines at the lowest dose necessary to maintain control of the pain. Sometimes medicines aren't enough. 
and we turn towards the friendly neighborhood surgeon to help us. And there are many different surgical techniques that have been studied and utilized to treat trigeminal neuralgia. In recent past, I've had the most success in referring my patients to a radiation procedure called Gamma Knife. There's recently a paper looking at the success of Gamma Knife in the MS population. And to summarize, it's not a slam dunk. 88% of people noticed improvements to pain early on following Gamma Knife. But if you follow them out several years, the vast majority were not able to maintain pain control. Nonetheless, I still think this is one of the most viable options to pursue when you're dealing with medically refractory pain. I'll also share that following Gamma Knife, sometimes using the anti-seizure medicines tend to work better in our patients. There you have it. A quick didactic on a unusual pain syndrome, trigeminal neuralgia. In brief, it's caused by damage to the fifth cranial nerve, the trigeminal nerve, or in the setting of MS, it could actually be the, the nucleus in the brainstem where that nerve tracks back and connects into. Pain can be profound. It's typically lancinating and sharp and electrical and will oftentimes involve one of the branches. It can be mistaken for things like dental problems or a problem with your jaw. The good news is that there are medicines to treat this using off-label anti-seizure medicines to treat the neuropathic pain. And there are even surgical procedures that can be explored such as Gamma Knife. And so let me ask you a question. If you've suffered from trigeminal neuralgia, would you please share with us a description of how you experienced uh, the syndrome? Also, if you've been successfully treated for trigeminal neuralgia, please share in the comments below which treatments worked for you and uh, how long they last. Once again, my name's Aaron Boster. Thanks for learning about MS with me. And until my next video, take care. Yeah.